Hey guys, here's a quick video for all those that are wanting to know what I think of my Dewalt hammer. Now, something to make clear, this is not one of those desirable titanium hammers that we all want. Um, it's a $50 hammer um, and basically I'm comparing it to my $70 hammer that I've been using for 15 years. So the sort of work that I was doing last week was demolition and um, a bit of framing. First thing that's noticeable about, about it um, in comparison is the weight. It is a 22 ounce hammer and I'll be using a 20 ounce hammer for 15 years. The next thing is the grip. So it's good solid grip, feels firm in your hand. It's also got the curve at the bottom, so you feel that extra, extra sort of security that it's not gonna fly out of your hand. The other thing is when I was first building, I was taught to put your thumb at the back of the hammer uh, to keep it straight. So that have actually got extra grip right there, which is quite good. It is longer than my other hammer, uh, which means I've got more of a reach. Now I'm not very tall, um, but with this hammer I can actually hammer up at a standard 2.4 meter high ceiling height. It's a magnet there, so I can start a nail and hammer it in at 2.4 meters, which is great. That saves me having to go and grab a ladder. Something else that this hammer has is a, um, a little nail puller just on the side. Um, I didn't really use that much last week because we were just dealing with big nails or really small nails, but I think that'd be suited for um, so like 50 mil flathead clouts and that kind of thing to try and pull those out so yeah it has a milled strike face um, I didn't really like it because it was all pointy so I ended up just grinding grinding it a bit flatter um, if there's actually a really good reason that it's milled so sharply please let me know something I really like was the um, the design difference with the, with the claws. My other hammer has curved, curved claws. Um, with these straighter ones, I found it really good because I could just do a normal, like a spin around, just do a normal swing and basically chop into what I was, what the linings I was trying to take off. Um, also, when um, trying to pull something off from the ceiling and the wall, you get quite close and just pull it off. Um, if it was curved, you, you sort of have to do this weird angle thing. So it just made it a whole lot easier, just hammering, and just chop. I usually have a flat bar with me when doing demo, um, so I can get into those sort of corners, but because I had this, I never use the flat bar, so therefore save the time and less effort, which is what you want. The only, only thing that bothered me really um, was that when it was in my hammer holder on my tool belt, um, it was quite uncomfortable, and that's more just because of the hammer holder and the tool belt that I'm using, so I might have to modify something there, but Basically it kept slipping around the front and bouncing off my knee, um, I'm, I'm quite short in the legs and um, yeah so it sort of sits, the end sits just below my knee. So either I need to grow a little bit or I need to modify my dog. So for a $50 hammer, I think it's pretty good, it's got a lot of good features, um, make your job easier, and that's what, uh, what it really comes down to. Uh, it's not a titanium hammer, I, will, I really want one of those, but um, until then this will suit.